one arm. Same side leg is hook line. Opposite leg is straight. From here, it's just a slight lift of the hips off the floor like you were gonna do a single leg glute bridge. Okay, and now we take that opposite leg through our straight leg raise. Back of the knee touches the ground, heel reaches for the ceiling. Okay, couple things that are happening here. As you go through, or the reason that we're holding the kettlebell is as you'll see that it gets arm to activate, or it gets wrist to activate, fascial interactions up into the upper arm, fascial interactions up into the shoulder, comes in, starts to stabilize and pack your shoulder down in a better position. Shoulder packing involves lat turning on to pull that shoulder down. Lat turning on gets your abs to all turn off because it's pulling into lumbar extension, which your abs resist. So just by holding the kettlebell in place, and you'll feel this before you even go anywhere, you've got much better activation of the torso just because of the position. We talked about environment, changing the environment to solicit changes. Uh, and the way the body moves, this is a perfect example of that. Like Dennis said, put a bottoms up 